is a very very good evening to you it's me scotty McClue. the time is nine o'clock on saturday night saturday the 7th of may 2022 this is the start of one hour of superb scintillating information education and entertainment for not just one nation but for all nations of course so a very very warm welcome to you a very warm welcome on tiktok on youtube on uh, Facebook Live, on LinkedIn Live, and on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue. Get yourselves on there. I say, hey, Scotty. Hey, bread is the best. How are you? Thank you, do. You are the best. I say to you, and a very warm welcome to tonight's program. Good evening, young man. Good evening, Les. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you, I say. How amazing is that? Just outstandingly fantastic. Good evening, Scotty, says the wonderful Stephen Menzies, a man who keeps the real network up to scratch for us. Buttercup's joined us and says, hello. Hello, Buttercup. How lovely that you could make it as well. Tremendous stuff. Now, what I'll do, I'll open up the phones tonight so we can get started and we can start to hear from you. That would be rather good. So if you're in a phoning mood, then uh, do feel free so to do. The lines are opening right now as we speak, and you should be able to get through. The number you will see just below the YouTube, and we shall chit-chat to you there. You're live with Scotty's funny, and good evening. Who's that? Thank you, sir. It's Kareem. Ah, Kareem, how excellent. You're some man, I'll tell you. That's a fabulous <laughs> piece of coordination. Thank you, Scotty. Now, How what's happening? What kind of week have you had? It's passed in a flash, Kareem. It's been a very busy week, Scotty, in uh, terms of work and examinations that are going on. Um, I won't bore you with that. No. Uh, but a very interesting week as well with what we finished our discussion last Saturday, like it was. Ah, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Up and coming elections we were talking briefly about. Yes, and we can talk about them, of course, now because they've been and gone. Absolutely. Uh, I was not expecting uh, how much councillors or how much the, the SNP have made again and have done remarkably well across oh, yes. all Scotland. Yes, no doubt about it. Absolutely incredible. And it looked, and the Greens have done pretty good and a lot of independence as well. Yes. Uh, so very, uh, very interesting to see the, the, demo, the demographics across the, the whole of Scotland. Well, I did the have a discussion uh, with the Greens about what was their oath of allegiance and what was uh, their policy on the monarchy. And of course, we got the usual cheek from the upstarts. But quite uh, civilized, actually. You know, a lot of a lot of well, ignorance, genuine ignorance. Um, yes. You know, because they didn't really know what they were talking about. So it was um, the parasite one, that one, and uh, uh, what was uh, the other one? Oh, I think strangers. we've had enough. Sorry, strangers. Yes, yes, yes all that stuff. Just a total lack of understanding and terrific ignorance. Uh, so I really think that it would be very good for yeah. the. Um, you know, the ruling party, shall we say, to make very clear what the monarchy does for Scotland. I think that will be one of the key issues, um, Scotty, when once yes. the, 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 the day has been launched. Now, as I, I have said that Ian Blackford did make it abundantly clear that the royal family will be going nowhere in an independent Scotland. Yes. The monarchy stays. Now, that's from the horse's mouth. Yes. And I think that is going to be something that's going to have to be made very clear to people on the build-up to the, the next referendum. Yes, and um, I think there should be a lot of discussion on it so that people are quite resigned to what's actually going on there. You know, I mean, I think that's very, very important. I think you're right, Scotty. In the past, you've mentioned saying that about half the vote, if they're going to get rid of the monarchy, yep. you can kiss independence goodbye. And I, I do believe that. Well, I think I think that's what happened the last time. Had it been made entirely clear that there's no risk to the monarch as head of state and there's no risk to the crown as our symbol of authority, you could have yep. probably counted on another 40% of the vote. That would have been 90% of the vote yes. in favour of independence. Correct. Um, but I think 
you, you learn from your mistakes and, and as, you, as I always say, you live, learn and grow. Uh, and a lot of the, the nonsense that was sprouted back then, you're seeing it now, you're seeing it now. And I just really hope a lot of people are waking up. And I've always been a thorough believer of Scotty that I think Scotland, we like to learn things the hard way. We have to... Well, Karim, you know how vocal I've been uh, over the last six years about the madness, the sheer madness of leaving the EU just to pacify a few billionaires from paying their tax. And, uh, you know, everybody fell for it. The Royal Britannia, the Afghanis, the whole lot fell for it. And um, now I said six years ago, I said economic annihilation and political fragmentation. And yeah. both are coming true. Well, the economic annihilation's on its way. Well, we're in, it's not made official yet because you know there's like a three month gap or waiting period, but we are now in a recession again. Yes, and of course. Going to hit by the end of summer. Yes. And then the build up to, well, let's be honest, you know, in October with the next price. Uh, increase for gas and electricity yes. is going to affect people even more. But I, I've said this to you before, Scotty, we, we learn things the hard way up here. We want to experience it. Well, we've been, been in almost permanent recession for the last 50 years. Yeah, uh, and what saved us is being in Europe because that has brought us any peace and prosperity that was going. So what yes. we've got, we had Margaret Thatcher, we must get inflation down. Yes. So that put us into recession and we struggled and struggled. Then we had another uh, recession uh, just when she left, around 1990. Then we had uh, another recession in um, 2008 when we had to uh, bail out the banks with our money. And yeah. uh, and on it goes, you know, and this is what you're going to get. It's, it's, it's sheer incompetence. Um... But, well, it's incompetence again, in it's one way and it's planned in another, Kareem. It's actually, I mean, there is, there are elements of incompetence and we see it when politicians interfere in things that should really be under the mandate of the civil service. So once you get that, and that's always been the case with British governments, the politicians stick their neb in and uh, the civil service have been running things very well, you know, from that point of view. So, that's yeah. what you've got there. So you get politicians sticking the nose into important areas of defense, etc., yeah. etc., because politics is the art of the possible. Yeah. yeah. So therefore, yeah. the politicians are supposed to, uh, you know, rule supreme. You know, and and yeah. and their word goes. Now, heaven, heaven help us. You know, we can see what's happened. What did Boris say? We must get Brexit done. So he dragged us kicking and streaming out of the EU and into, uh, you know, certain poverty. Uh -huh. You see? But so, not for the wealthy. If you look carefully, your money goes to the wealthy. Oh, Scotty, I, I know that. I, you I, know, I love it. it used to be to the aristocracy. They're virtually no more. The big estates yeah. are virtually no more. The agrarian revolution has come and gone. The uh, industrial revolution has come and gone. The technological yeah. revolution is kind of still about, still with us, yeah. I would say, for the last 60 years. You know, the, yeah. the, the white heat of technology, as Harold Wilson said. Um, so, yeah. so we've we've had all of that, but rest assured, now it's big business that wants to take everyone's money. Absolutely, you know. It's coming to my quick next point, Scotty, which I think this morning I said to you, or I typed a message when you were on live, that my car has stopped working. Ah, um, yes. So it's in the garage. It won't be seen till till Monday because the garage doesn't open till Monday. Um, but it was making me think, right, okay, my car's six years old nearly, it's getting on a bit, it's not, I had nothing major wrong with it, you know, so this is the first big thing. But technology, um, we spoke briefly, and other people have, about uh, electric cars. Mm -hmm. Now, I know there's a massive push for them just now, but why would you want to get electric cars when obviously the price of electricity is going absolutely through the roof? I'm going to look at hybrid cars because I don't know too much about them. But again, um, 
I don't know what your thoughts and feelings are on those. Well, I think we should run old diesels until they're eventually banned because they're so reliable and they're so economical. Right, right, okay. You know, and I, and, I, and I really think that that's the, you know, and uh, yes, I mean, the green thing is absolutely great, but everything's switching to that. But, you know, this country has got peat, it has got wood, it has got coal, it has got oil, it has got gas, it has got renewables, it's got wind, it's got wave, as we said in one of the, the videos. <coughs> and really, Scotland, people should be paying just peppercorn for their power. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think if the Scottish government arranged that, then they would very quickly find that uh, independence just happened. Yeah, oh, I, definitely, Scotty. You know? These are things I'm sure they're all coming up with to, to think of plans and actions because if, if you remember the last referendum, there was a lot of Project Fear, and, was, and I call it Project Fear 2 because it's it's now across the media and how things have been portrayed across. Well, it's a great way to control the public to frighten them. You know, I mean, it's a great way to do it. You know, you'll, you'll get your food taken away and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's very old-fashioned, very basic stuff. But, yeah, um, you know, pension. I mean, what, the what? Be taken away. Yes, everything, that's right. You would lose your pension. Of course, no difference, just a lot of lies. But somebody okay. should have stood up and said, this is a pack of lies. I mean, if you want to hear a good argument for independence, listen to uh, Scotty McClure. Uh, you know, yeah. you'll, 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 you'll hear that at the time, talking to, oh, I... um, yes, to, um, uh, to John, um, oh, John, gosh. His second name's just just gone out of my mind. But, you know, I mean, that that will tell you, that will give you just the basic discussion because there is no there is no argument for the union. There never, ever has been. One thing that keeps coming up, uh, and I'm going to look into... John Gaunt, I beg your pardon, apologies to John. John Sorry. Gaunt, that was the man. Scotty McClure talks to John Gaunt on Scottish sure. independence. And I'm not political, uh, as you well know. Yes, yes. No, I, I know, Scotty. Uh, I've lost my train of thought there. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. I was going to say something there. Oh, God, that's been out my head now. We've, hidden, you know. we've hidden your train of thought. Was it about the power companies? Was it about energy? It was about independence, but you know what, Scotty? Another time, I remember now, when the, the, when the date gets called, I, and obviously, I, you'll be doing lots of phone-ins as, as well. I'm going to be, I'm going to really focus on certain things that I'm going to look into and share on the live call-ins as well and have your opinion on different things. So I will, I'm, I'm going to do my bit to campaign a lot more as well, getting out and about, helping groups, but also um, do my part to try and let people know on the, the live phone in as well, X, Y, and Z. But the argument, the only argument, just to finish off, Scotty, that always comes up from the unionist point of view as they talk about the, is the GER system, the GER system. Yes. And that is outdated because why would you set up a system to support other country looking better than overall than what it's to benefit Westminster? Well, that would, that would change. I mean, I think number one priority, even before independence, is that Scotland gets to keep all its income and everything that's manufactured or uh, or reared or bred or if it's foodstuffs, it all should be very clearly labelled produce of Scotland with a saltire. And then everybody yeah. should know. I said the other day, you'll see I did a video on Scotland, on everything that had been invented by the Scots and everything we'd brought to civilization. And I would say to, uh, you know, all the rest of the British people, don't bite the hand that feeds you. I've seen that video, so it was very, very true. <laughs> very true. You know, um, and yeah. that's that's all I'm doing. I'm only telling the truth, Kareem. I'm not even offering an opinion. I'm giving you the facts. Yes, as always, Scotty. And yeah, but the build up will come, and, and I'm looking forward to it. And, and for the, a lot of young people to get actively involved as well, because it is their future. Absolutely. Kareem, as always, a privilege talking to you, and thank you for your call. Thank you. Thank you. Do have a good week, Scotty. And Bye. you, sir. Dinky do. There we are. That's our Kareem. What a top man. Absolutely. Now, 
what have we got here? Lots and lots of stuff from you. Um, there we are. Uh, here's Kirsty. This is what, oh my goodness, you guys have been busy tonight. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you're well from Stephen. Yes, indeed. Uh, hello and welcome. That was Kareem there. Hi, Lala, says Martin. Uh, I love you to death, says Kirsty. Aren't you wonderful, Kirsty? Yes, hopefully neither of us is dying soon. Uh, wonder who this is, says Derek and Clive. Well, we found out it was Kareem, Derek and Clive. There we are. Um, hi, everybody, Dinky Do. Um, what have we got here? You're all having a conversation there. Scotty, how are you, sir? I was going to call, but I've had a few drinks, my pal Scotty. Well, you could still give us a wee call. There's the wonderful David Kirsty. Come on and have a chat. You said you'd love to. There we are. Absolutely. And look what the government have done. They've sold our oil. Am I right in thinking that? Yes, you are, Kirsty. I'll always leave my dinner till Scotty comes alive. Absolutely. Um, Alex Belfield for King of the UK says Itchy. There we are. Itchy. Well, does he come up to scratch? I say. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. There we are. Derek and Clive says Alex is a clown. That's a bit harsh on Alex. He's a wee star, is our Alex. There we are. Alex is the voice of the world. Oh, I don't think he's the voice of the world, dear. I think that title goes to Scotty McClue. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. Now, who have we got here? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, no, Scotty. How you doing? It's Gary Fisco Bright. Gary oh, Fisco Bright. How lovely to hear you. And Dinky do. Gary, oh, please don't be nervous because it's just me you're talking to. I know, I know, I know it's you. you know, <laughs> you don't need to be nervous at all, and the rest of the world, of course. But you don't worry about Aye. that. It's you and I having a bit of a gas. Oh, mate, Scotty, right. I was uh, talking on YouTube, right? Yes. And um, I've had a few like, refreshments. Good for you, yeah. and I hope you've enjoyed them. You were at the disco <laughs> dancing, you're some man, I'll tell you. Aye. So I just thought I'd come on the channel and say hello to you and everyone else on YouTube. You are an absolute it. top man. Now, Gary, you've done it yeah. now. Nobody can take it away from you, so you can ring any time. It's going you're my best pal. You, you remember that? Stick your tongue out and say ta, ta Stick your tongue out and say ta, ta God bless you. Have a lovely night. Take care of yourself. Cheers, Bye. buddy. Bye, Gary. Bye. There we are. What a top man. There you are, Gary. Fessing up there. He's had a refreshment. Well, good for him. But he's given us a call and he's done very well. Uh, so there you are. Now, what have you got here? Uh, Alex Belfield compared to Scotty McClue is a choir boy. Scotty rules. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so there we are. Fantastic stuff. Uh, now, I would go on if you would go on. Is that possible? Well, Gary's been on there. Fantastic stuff. And we loved it. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's David. Oh, Gary oh, done well there, didn't he? David, I think you did very well. He'd obviously had a wee refreshment, you know. And there's, there's not, we can't see Ali a wee Billy uh, and Zambuka together, do you know? David, can I tell you a lovely laugh? I was a great fan of the Clyde Steamers. And one of the great Clyde steamers, which they brought back to Glasgow, and she's sitting, uh, she's sitting opposite the science centre there, the Queen Mary. I've actually seen that. Yeah, the Queen Mary, you'll see her with the two funnels. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Gary was never sir. He needs to keep phoning every week. He needs to keep phoning until it becomes second nature. Line, well, she says she really well, we're all the same. I mean, when I started broadcasting, I used to hang on to the desk, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, McClue, McClue gets nervous as well. Oh, I mean, I used to be nervous years ago, but that's well gone. Well I, that's gone, well gone. I don't, but my nerves are away. I, they retired 20 oh, years ago. Oh, oh, we can I see you. I saw you right. Uh, I was listening to you and Kareem. She used to 
Minus your cup, he's all. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you something, but I won't get into big details. So I got a letter at the, just the weekend there, stating right. I owe a certain company £2,000. Uh-huh. So I, I phoned up their company and other companies to say what's going on here. And they said, do you owe the company such and such? Uh-huh. Because it's the, it's the energy I was paying, it went bust. Ah, right, it went bust. So we said, well, we we paid it all over time. Yes, John, and the, the company they've still said they the to take a debt manager. Okay, she was nice on the phone, but she still says you still owe us a thousand pound. And we said no, mm. they're not getting any money offers. I'm taking it further, oh. and they were trying to calculate because they were asking us for um, certain things to go into your energy company in the hall and take out numbers to see how much electricity we use when the company went bust. It sounds like they've made a bit of a mess of things and they're trying yeah. to get people to cough up. So I would be yeah. very wary. Don't part with a penny until you find out I'm what's what. Them nothing you know? You know that. I'm going to a lawyer on Monday anyway uh-huh. to get it sorted. Aye. Uh, but the women, okay, the women, the gets women on the phone, she said, well, this is what the company's been telling us. Blah, yes, blah, blah, yes. Blah. And, and, and well, I, you need to say to her, well, I think, they're selling you a pup, my dear. Aye. Oh, the ridiculous chair carry on. You know, yes, yes. And then, then she was saying, to, like, she was trying to get us to maybe cough up or something. She no. Said, Did you want to put another direct debt? No. And so, so we tried no. her out. We said, maybe, no. maybe. Then she said, so we'll take 150 pounds off you. I went and I said, no. oh, you hell. No. <laughs> No, they don't take anything till you find out exactly what it's about. So this is all set out in a proper bill by a recognised yeah. company that yeah. is in funds. Oh, ridiculous with the dating people. You can't, you can't, no, but you can't have a bankrupt company chasing you for money. Well, they're bankrupt when bust last year. Right, well, if, if they've gone, they've gone, so I'm afraid that's uh-huh. it. You know, yeah, very, so, these, are very, these, these people are actually think people are stupid. Yeah. As, you know. No, no, you need to you need to find out exactly what's going on, what they are oh, saying the score is, blah blah blah. But if they've gone, yeah, they've yeah. gone. Uh, Do you know? And I'm I'm afraid that you know the bill will have gone doing the swanny with them. Exactly right, doing the pan. Mm, <laughs> this sounds like some kind of liquidator trying to recover funds. We'll get uh, one of our experts to give us a wee phone and see where where people uh, stand on uh, that. But that sounds a bit dodgy that. to me. Oh, it's terrible, you know what I mean? And but see when the company went bust last year, we got a text stating, do not do nothing, we'll take control of that and, and we'll get back to you. Right, and they did they, so there you are. Aye, so aye. you know, so it's <laughs> no no, that, that sounds like a wee a wee bedtime story to me. I'm, I'm absolutely fabulous. I was going to tell you about Gary there uh, having Hi. having a light refreshment. Uh, on the Queen Mary, there was a beautiful varnish board. And on a Saturday oh. afternoon, people used to sail back and forward between Weems Bay and Rothsey and get steaming oh. in the bar. And, uh, the, I, and it said refreshments this way. <laughs> A refreshment, and I mean, what is actually refreshing about a large dram? You know what I mean? A large dram, I would take a triple dram. <laughs> but it does not refresh you. It gets you steamboats. Oh, steamboats! You know, as, but that was good to hear, Gary, and well done him for for ringing. You know, Aye, he's saying here, David. Gary's a big fan now. Well, okay, okay. Before I go, just. I kiss the kid here, yeah. There we are. She's saying she'll phone if you phone. That's right, right. Thank you, do my friend. And you, my dear fellow, thank you, do to you. Take care of yourself. Love you, thank you. Love you lots, Davy. Thank you, do. There we are. That's our Davy. Fantastic. Anybody who's uh, very qualified in all that debt management, what does that sound like to you? There's the wonderful Neil O'Gonley. There we are, tremendous stuff. You're live at Scotty's phone in. Who's that? 
Martin, how are you, La? I was very pleased to hear that your DJ works going well. Oh, what's happened here? We seem to have lost everybody. Oh, we're back again. There we go. Hello, Martin. Hello. Hey there. I don't know what's happened there. We seem to have lost Martin. Maybe he'll give us a call back. Guy says, no, can't. Too nervous to call. Well, he's called, which is great. Diesel engines last forever. Quite right, Kirsty. They certainly last for a good long time. There we are. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Give us a wee call. Fantastic. Lovely to hear from you. And we'll see what's happened. I don't know what's happened to Martin. That seems a bit strange. There we are. Right, uh, but we'll no doubt catch up. Are you there, Martin? Hello? Martin, can you hear us? Hello? Hello? No, can he hear us? There we go. There we are. There must be, there must be something very strange there. There we are. Gary Dinky Doo from Sumbra. How amazing, fantastic. Uh, good evening, Scotty, says Charlie. I hope you're well. Just switch the TV off. Quite right, Charlie. Television goes off when Scotty McClue comes on. That's what it's about. I love whiskey, says Kirsty. Follow us, guys. We need followers, please, on the TikTok. Get following. Get subscribing on the YouTube channel. Tremendous stuff. There's lots of new TikTok videos and YouTube videos for your edification, ed education, edification, enjoyment, and delight. They're all there for you. A lot of drunks out there tonight, Scotty. Oh, absolutely. Helium, says J.D. Donnelly. Are you on Helium, J.D.? Uh, wonderful stuff. There we go. Who have we got here now? Uh, something very strange there. Uh, if Gary had a swally, uh, I would have enough, but I'd get stage fright. Uh, Kareem's talks better than Scotty, says Gary. Thank you, Gary. There you are. I'm sure Kareem will appreciate that. Uh, there's John Cox. Hello, Scotty. The true meaning of Scotland. Begin. Dinky do, John Cox. How lovely to have you with us. Um, see, I told you I was nervous. No, you sounded great, Gary. Stop worrying. Keith Snedden. Uh, you naughty, naughty boy. Keith has just given me five pounds on the old uh, super chat. Keith has tapped the dollar at the bottom. Keith, that is very, very kind of you. You're a naughty boy, as I say. You're very, very generous. But it's so much appreciated. It's lovely of you. Open the phone lines and I'll phone back. Phone lines are open, Martin. There shouldn't be a problem. I don't know what on earth was going on. So there you are, but uh, you can give us a call. It's going to voicemail. Maybe just too many calls coming in at one time, Martin. So there we are. Hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, Scotty, guess who is? It's Gary again. Gary, good for you. Now listen, have you seen everybody giving you congratulations? No, thank you very much. And I appreciate everyone on YouTube. Absolutely, and they're also you're also saying that uh, that Kareem's better than me on the phone. Quite right. I'm not. Oh, yeah. not as good as you. You're my best pal. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I think you've done very well tonight, and I think you found that there's no problem phoning. Ah, oh, come on! But I just saw you a wee bit nervous, but I was, you know. Yeah. You know well, I'm Gary, not. listen. I told you. <laughs> We're all we all get a bit nervous from time to time. Do you know what I mean? Ah, uh, come on, but I've had a few, a couple of beers, so Gary, Gary, I'm you're sounding you. absolutely fine. So there you are. Oh, right, right, I'll even get you back on your sofa, right? Nay, bother, buddy. You all take right. care of yourself. I think you do. Think you do, mate. Stick your tongue and say ta ta. Stick your tongue out and say ta ta. Da da. <laughs> there he is. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Keith Snedden's done it again. That's twice he sent me five pounds. Keith, what are you like? For goodness sake, I ask you. Who's this? Hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty, man. It's Martin again. Martin, what on earth was happening? Um, I, um, I think I 
there? No, the signal's fine in my house. Is it? Oh, hundred percent. Yes, heavens above. Costs a fortune. My own DJ is doing really well. I have had about one point seven likes so far. It's doing really, really well. I was hearing great things this morning that it's going well, and I'm very, very pleased for you. Yes, I am. But I'm getting a lot, a lot of response on TikTok. A lot, lot of response. A lot Good for response. you. You'll maybe get some bookings. Yes, hopefully, but. I've but I've put about, um, I've put almost one pile of, I'm sorry, I've already put one box of card search people already, so I might be able to get high very, very soon. And I still wasn't taking high roads. I am up to 420 now. Oh, my goodness me. That, what sort of things are happening? Um, still all the Google stuff. Um, there's a lot of... Um, there's, there's, there's a couple of arguments in that, or, 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 or on and off in that, and other things. It's, it's an excellent show, though, isn't it? I know, I know. <laughs> I am, I, I am, I am, I am, I actually love it um, as well. As well yes, I know. It's, yeah. it's fantastic, Martin. Well, that's great. Well, listen, it's absolutely lovely to hear you as always. Yes, go so man, yes. And you take great care, and good luck with the DJing. Keep us up to speed. Yes, I will. Um, 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 Scotty, you should come on the live and watch me some point when you're free. I will do. I'm so maxed at the moment. I can barely get time to go live, but we manage. Uh, but I will do, uh, Martin. We'll we'll get a good old listen and let you know what's what. Okay, Scotty. Hey, and dinky do that. Thank you, dude. Love you a lot. See you, Martin. There we are. That's Martin. Martin is having a go at the DJ. And he does a lot on TikTok. He's telling us, you're welcome, my friend. He's Sneddon. It's so very, very, very kind of you. And it makes a huge difference. So there you are, dinky do. We can get wee bits of advertising and all sorts of things. Hello, Scotty. Love tuning in. Scouse Taser. Hey, we love the bones of your Scouse Taser. Lot of drunks on tonight. What number do I phone? Well, Scouse Taser, it's 0141 628 9795. And you'll see it if you go to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. And the way to do that is to go to the TikTok bio. And there it is there. Uh, anyone hear me talking to Scotty? I thought I'd stumbled in my words. Gary, would you relax? I hope you're well, says Keith. And Keith, I hope you're well, my dear fellow. And dinky do to you, I say. Uh, Scotty, I will not ever speak as good as you. You're the gaffer. Not at all, Kareem. You are caller number one by a long chalk. Why do we say that, a chalk? How do you spell it? Is it C-H-O-C? Uh, Chris Grant has sent me beautiful, beautiful presents on the TikTok. I thank you, guys. That is such a lovely thing to do. Can everybody get sharing this live right now? See wherever you're watching. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe on YouTube because I almost guarantee we finish the program with not one single extra subscriber because people go, oh, I forgot about that. It just means click subscribe. It doesn't cost you. There we are. It's fantastic. And I think 30 years, Scotty McClure, in June, 30 years next month. Surely I'm worth a wee click. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, I'm doing okay, David, says Susan. Good stuff. Uh, Susan, are you on the TikTok? I'm not, says Suzanne. Oh, Suzanne. What are you like? Uh, so there we are. Hi, Gary. Hi, Kirsty. Um, Scotty, dinky do. Kirsty sent me two beautiful red roses on the TikTok. How fabulous. Uh, what number should I call to get in touch? 0141 628 9795. And you'll never go wrong. My wife was born in the port. She lived in Greenock, but she resided in Gurak. How amazing. I love that, Bobby. <laughs> and we love the port. What a top place, the port. A uh, big come down for you. 12 years. Casa flood. You could not be more wrong. Not a come down at all. Remember, we're across half a dozen platforms. So uh, stick that round, you la la. Big come down for you. Getting it wrong again. 
You're live at Scotty's Fun Inn, who's that? Oh, it's me, Kelsey. I think you do. How are you getting on? I'm no bad, pal. Uh, oh, it's lovely I'm to no hear bad. you. I love all your wee chats. I know. You're I fantastic. You'll do the same. Good for you, Kirsty. Well done, la. Aye. And I suppose on a Saturday night at this time, people will have Aye. had a light refreshment. That's right. I'm no. You know, no. and I'll tell you, Kirsty, I don't know if you saw, but during the week I was asking, would every Celtic supporter support Rangers for the night? No, some of them were chicken up, I can tell you. There was a fair bit of chicken up. <laughs> oh, my God. I missed that. There's a half-witted idiot called Kaza, and he thinks we've only got 14 watching. He's just as daft as a brush. These people have not a clue. Yes, big come down. <laughs> yeah, big come down for him. <laughs> now then, you get all these dafties, you know, it's so funny. Uh, Scotty seems to be someone that needs sent down the Swanee on YouTube. I uh, right in the Swanee, but you're right, right in there. Right in right the Swanee with them, that's what I say. Yes. I'm not going to break you, you know what I mean? Not no, for break. goodness sake, 30 years in June. Thirty thirty years in June. I can remember just a year ago when I was a young Scott that. FM. Ah, that's right. I remember the other day. That Aye. was the big one. Fantastic, you Kirsten. Back on the, you back on the well, there's lots of talk about it, but you see, they've got a problem because of this recession caused by Brexit, right? Right. You've got Aye. this recession, so. People are hanging on to their advertising budgets. There's lots of new companies. They'd all, without exception, love to have Scotty McClue, but they can't afford it because they need to take a chance. And they don't realize that they'll not be taking much of a chance because I've already proved myself. I've got nothing to prove. Oh, oh, oh you know, what's that? Oh, you shouldn't use the word sake know, on here, for I goodness know, sake. For goodness I mean, sake. <laughs> what are you like? <laughs> so there you are, fantastic <laughs> stuff. Here's a boy going down the Swanee called 1470. Down the Swanee with 14. No, you're not going down the Swanee. There we are. That was just a wee hiccup. We put we put that down. We put that down as a buck. You take care of yourself, eh? And dinky do. Love you lots, buddy. See you soon, Kirsty. There's our wee Kirsty. Fantastic. Thirty unforgettable years, Scotty. Absolutely, Mister Martin. Now then, who have we got? Uh, he swore. Uh, she swore. She swore. That's Kirsty. That was Kirsty on. Fantastic. Uh, love you. Take care. Keith, love you too, buddy. You're a fantastic guy. And that was just so very kind of you. Keith has tapped the dollar bill at the bottom of the super chat and sent me two five pounds, which comes to ten pounds. Now that is kind. I can't tell you. My family tree on ancestry came from Scotland back in the 30s. I would think they probably did scouse Tesa. There we are. We've just said cheerio to that 1470s weld in this morning. Half witted idiot. You're live at Scottish phone in. Who's that? Ah, it's David. Wait a minute. She swore. She, she swore. Give me a Well, what I did, I put it down as a buck. She used the word seek. She used the word seek. I know, I know, I know it. Listen to this UK banter. He says, Where are you from with that Tory accent? What accent does a Tory have? Alf Garnet. Alf Garnet was a Tory. What accent did he have? Whoa, what are you doing? I think Tories are like, Oh, hi, 
I'm a Hiya. lorry or something. You I know? know. I don't know where he's getting this from. He's as daft as a brush. There we are. Kirsty. Kirsty saying oh, sorry for swearing. She was funny, right? Ah, oh, she was. A wee sour. You know what I mean? It slipped it. Aye. Honestly, I'd be like, you go again. Not at all. Listen, listen Davy. Good you to hear you. from you. Oh, All right. Oh no, John. John, you can't hear that. Is he waving yeah, that away? John's, or... John's asking if Kim can send me a Facebook request, but that's not true. No. A Facebook. Request. John's asking if Kim can send me a Facebook request. Oh, a Facebook. I thought you said a Facebook. Oh no, sorry. I thought. What language are you talking? <laughs> a Facebook for the drum. I love, I love that, uh, I love that one that, is it Kevin Bridges tells about the bus at Drumchapel? All right, tell me about that. And the driver, the driver stood his ground, you know? Right. And he goes, he goes like this, he goes, um, 180 please. And the guy goes, it was 170 yesterday, ya so and so. And he uses the words, right? And the driver goes, well, it's 180 the day, yes, so and so. <laughs> I'll tell you, wait, Davey, this is absolutely true. I'm going to tell you a true story. I took my car in for servicing one day, right? And I got the bus along the Great Western Road. And, uh, right, I got on, yeah, but along, along at the drum, right away out there, you know? So as far as it goes, I, so I got on the bus. And I, 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 I handed a fiver to the driver and he goes, what do you expect me to do with that? I says, take it and give me the change. He goes, no, we don't change that. I says, well, what do you expect me to do? He goes, ask if somebody's got change. So he pulls away. I went up and there were all these old ladies on. It was in the morning. And I says, I, I holds up the fiver and goes, has anybody got change of fiver? Right? So they're all in their purses and their wallets, right? And they and they're putting their money on the seat. And I'm holding the fiver, right? And they're putting like pound coins and ten peas and all that. And these two old ladies come on and one goes to the other. Very naughty gambling on the bus. I remember you used to ask people on the bus, any spell change because of I don't know something. Well, my pal, wait till I tell you this. How's this for a bus story? My pal got on one day and the, the right. driver says, I can't change that. He says, Would you wait a second till I nip into the shop? He goes, I need bother. He came out and the bus right. had gone. <laughs> but here's the funniest one ever. I remember uh, just parking, uh, just perching for a second or two in Glasgow, right? And this yeah, bus yeah, comes yeah. by and he stops and he opens his door and he goes, Oi, do you not know what a bus stop looks like? And I turned round to him and says, You should know if you're a driver. <laughs> I was up the bus and I was bouncing, coming down the stairs. My head hot off the ceiling. Why? Oh, Everybody was laughing at me. Ah, it's so funny. He's, at one time they slid to a halt and I virtually got pitched off. You know? <laughs> oh, I right. Crazy, crazy stuff, you know. That's that's the carry oh. on. Even I made a day when my daughter was born, try to get your pram after the bus. It's oh. embarrassing. Just to crash your pram into the sides. Aye. And it used to be. You're a bad Aye. But people used to help you, you know what I mean? But now you're, you're frightened you miss the bus. Yeah, you know. You know? You get the bounce. You get the bounce. The trams came off. The tile was well, I'll tell you this one day, Davy. I got on the bus, right, 20 past 7 in the morning. And, uh, and right, got on the bus, 20 past 7 in the morning. That was me going to work at 9 o'clock, you know. Anyway, I'm on, I'm on the bus, 20 past 7, and I shouts to the driver, I says, do you go past the such and such? He goes, aye, I do. I said, oh, that's brilliant, and I sat down. 
About oh, five yeah. minutes later, he shouts to me, he goes, Jim, because everybody's Jim, he goes, Jim, oh, um, he I says, know. I got it wrong. He says, I'm used to being on another run. This bus doesn't go where you're going. I says, well, what do I do? He says, I'll drop you off at the next stop. You can wait for one to come along. <laughs> Standing in the bucket in rain, you know, just because he, he wasn't sure what shift he was on. Do you understand that? Do your face. And I said, John, stop the hassle. Uh, People come on your bus. You drew a face. Fantastic. I love it. Hey, you take care of yourself, Davey. Right, son. You too, son. Thank, Thank you, do, my boy. Tara, son. Bye. There we are. That's your Davey. What a guy. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Hey, hey, hey. Fantastic. Itchy is being a bit strange. Should we send Itchy Doom the Swanee? Scotty should do a 9 to 12, says Gary. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, who's that? Who is that? We can't hear you. There we are. Dinky do. You need to turn your phone down. Fantastic stuff. Now then. Uh, we've got here quality Scotty, very funny. Love everyone on here. Take care, Keith. You are a top man, Keith. You'll know all about these bus stories. But you were in Edinburgh, which is a bit mere genteel. There we are. Is the drum no just Bears Den West? Well, you know, I remember a lady that stayed in the drum said that people used to come in from Bears Den and uh, and steal the Wayne's bikes and all that kind of stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Yes, it's Gary Fiesco Bride. Gary Fiesco Bride. How lovely to hear you. And you enjoy yourself and you enjoy your mate and everyone else. You are a top man. We love hearing you. That's our Gary. Stick out your tongue and say ta ta. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Now, how are we doing for time? Uh, what have we got here? Lots and lots of you on here. Can you say hi to Scott? I can, ginger, ginger, ginger. I'm going to go on again next time. You're so easy to talk to. Thanks, Kirsty. A Tory from the drum. Yes, UK banter. You're obsessed with Tories. Remember, you're obviously a Tory. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. We love it. The laugher. There we are. The joker from Batman. Good night, Keith, says Susan. Is Keith away or are you away, Susan? Uh, you know, hopefully it's Keith that said he was going. Uh, right, who have we got here? Lots and lots of reaction. Hi, Scotty from Birmingham. Bradley, it's lovely to have you with us from Birmingham. Fantastic stuff. Do he do? I say to you. Now then, who else have we got? Let me see who this is. Oh, my goodness me. Hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? I'll tell you who it is, Scotty. Let me introduce myself properly because we're guests in people's houses. Ah, oh, fantastic. It sounds to me like Professor Numpty Heat. Yes, and yes, again, Sir Numpty. Right. Hello, everybody. It's the lovable laddie himself, me, myself, and I, the three wise men, a sober one, Kenobi, Professor Numpty. Sober one, Kenobi. Absolutely, Scott. How's it going? Fantastic. Listen, Numpty, you haven't been on well, for far too long. Well, I can. Well, I'll tell you, see, we know being on, Scotty, I've got a look to talk about and so much little time to do it. There's Scottish Eddie Boy says Scotty McClue for Prime Minister. That's nice, isn't it? What? They're having a laugh. Uh, Neil says doing the swanee with the guy with the genital problem. Well, there I think it's more a con a congenital problem, actually. But we might just dump him. He sounds a uh, bit daft. Right? What's that? Eyes uh, away. Because what? I made a cup of tea, right? And right. I and what's wrong? I made a cup of tea, right? 
Max. That's okay. a waste. I might no, I don't think it's a waste of a good tea. I drink it. Well, when it's cold? Yes, I just blame myself and get it right down me. No, you're off your head. Anyway, I didn't uh, I didn't have any lunch today, Scotty, because I'm still trying to find what they have. Well, what kind of stuff do you like? Are you quite thin? Well, I've, I've not made my mind up. Are you I've quite trim? Do you fancy a wee bit of cabbage and corned beef? No, no, Scotty, because I end up having to give it up to the corned beef. Right, well, I'll I tell you what I've got. I'll tell you what I've got, Numpted. I've got a uh, steamer, right? Right. And uh, it's very good. I can recommend that everybody should have a steamer. Well. <laughs> yes, and, and, and you can pop a bit of broccoli and a bit of cauliflower in, give it a good boiling for a, about 10 minutes, and it is just the bee's knees. Oh, it's well, it's the it's got... the dog's knees. Aye. Now, are you going to listen to this, Scott? Because I'm talking sense for a change. Turn up with haggis and mashed totties to Scottish eggy boys. Right. Now then. Uh, I've got a fish supper. Oh, thing. here's I'm one sorry. for you. You're a high bee, oh. aren't you? She oh, says yeah. green tea is good for you. So the high oh, bees yeah, should no. all be drinking the green tea and, uh, and the, the heart of Midlothian Football Club who I think got thrashed today, didn't they, by the Celtic? Rightly so. Was that, that was right? Yes, so that so they'll all need to listen to Scotty McClue playing This Is My Story, This Is My Song. Right. Now, Scotty, I was going to send you an email for your red velvet folder with all the gold uh, edges. Rev the red velvet folder where all the good stuff goes. Any complaints uh, well, go in the big black plastic file. Well, Scotty, you would need to print it out, but they'd be us print on these days. You know? No, but it's difficult to have a printer because everything says, do you need to print this? Right. Well, I was going to write to you, but you just rip your letters up. No, no, I would not I would only if it was an insult, and you've never insulted me. No. Here, I saw the cleaning lady this morning, and I shouted, hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. Hi, uh, uh, very, uh, very uh, good uh, to you. Yes, we love it. Scotty, Scotty, before, before I go, right? Yes. Uh, I want to speak about the monarchy for a change. The monarchy, I'm yes. I'm concerned about the Queen. Suzanne is calling you the prof. Aye, but listen, Scotty, I'm going to be a bit concerned about the Queen, you know. Not to heed. Stop, stop everything here for a minute. Keith Aye. Snedden has sent me another five pounds that's awfully good Ian. that's 15 pounds towards the advertising he's a top contributor Scotty. well so are you let's not uh, uh, let's not play down your contribution uh, so i was just setting the standards however i'm, I'm getting concerned about the queen right now. she's now 96 year old Scotty. she's 96 yes indeed now, what's the point of having the Queen if she can't attend the events like the garden parties? That's been cancelled. Well, I think you'll agree she's maybe attended quite a lot of garden parties in the last 70 years. Indeed she has. Now, um, now that she can't make these parties, well, there's no really royal engagement. Parties. Well, there, of course they're royal engagements because her son is the heir to the throne, the Prince of Wales. Right. And he can host the garden party. Right. And her daughter, the Princess Royal, Princess Anne. Oh, the one that likes riding the horses. Yes, she could she ah. could attend. And her son, Prince Edward. I think for one reason and another, Prince Andrews can have not flavour of the month at the moment. Uh -huh. uh, and well that was that, you see. <laughs> Absolutely, Scotty. Andrew, formerly known as Punt. I can't hear you mean. Anyway, Scotty, listen. Before I go, all these moan about the sulfur. The these things all the rules are right out the windies. We can't hear a word you're saying. I'm saying, before I go, do you think the cyclists, right? Um, um, do they think the rules have went out the windies? Yes. They brought in 
the new highway code yes rules. yes the cyclists now rule the world and they are in charge of the road and the motorists have to do what's required well scotty just after the rule change i was faced with, with a woman cyclist and she i was going in the back of arthur's seat with a duck and it's a right. one-way road ah, you right? go, have you been up arthur's seat i i, I go in the one-way road right i know it ruined the royal park and you can what this woman come doing the wrong way doing the hole towards me and then she okay. starts waving as if for me to telling me to get out of the way i'm like hey wait a minute doing this decent thing you've done this morning hence putting a crash helmet i could have been a bus uh, absolutely and, and the roads aren't very broad at that part of the all parks are they You'll have to go, Numpty Heat, but it's been a privilege and a pleasure speaking with you. Even though I speak nonsense? Oh, complete and utter nonsense, but a wee bit of sense in the in the middle and the core. That's thanks to me. Yes, you're kind of nuclear powered, you. You know, you've got maybe one or two spent fuel rods, but you've got a very powerful core. Well, rem remember, I'm hampered shortly at picnic. Yes, that's right. Your lift doesn't go all the way to the top story. And it doesn't come back down again. I think you're a top man. Stick out your tongue and say ta-ta. Well, again, ta-ta. Ta-ta. There we are. That's your love to you. He's away. Fantastic. To the telephones, guys, as soon as you possibly can. That's him. Yes, bye-bye, love to you. Uh, Scotty, good night, friend. Not at all. A privilege and a pleasure. You're live at Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, it's me, Scotty. Ah, oh, Kirsty, thank you, do, Lala. I think you do, my friend. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm, no, the guy was talking about cyclists. Yes. Oh, they want cyclists, right? Do you know what I think they should be paying road tax? I think well, you've got a so. very good point, my dear. They should be paying Aye. road tax and insurance. I definitely. I'm and they should be off, off the roads during rush hour. Definitely. Oh, God, I, I, Give way to I the buses, I, I, I say. They're, they're, in, they're in the bus lanes. They're now becoming cycle lanes. Uh, I, I think we're ending up with the odd cycle path in a cycle I, path. And then you jump in front of the motors and all that. Absolutely, my darling. Yes, it's a, no, no, it's a, you have to give them a very wide berth indeed. Oh, God, I know, I know. Absolutely. Listen, lovely hearing you. We're just about out of time, so I'm going to have to say night night. A good better, and you stick out your tongue and say ta ta, ta ta. <laughs> see you, Lala. God bless you. There we are. That's your Kirsty. You're live with Scottish phone in. Who's that? Uh, thank you very much, Arnold Schwarzy. Uh, lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Do. Uh, good night, Scotty. Lovely to have you with us, and welcome, welcome. There would be thousands of false claims. Oh, my goodness me. Um, hello from Hamilton, Scotty Maximus. Lovely to have you with us. Electric scooters should be paying for the road tax. Scotty McClure, the voice of reason, says Um Bongo. There we are. Night, night, Susan. Speak soon. Absolutely. Just about out of time, guys. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Scottish Gary. Good night. Gary, good night. Good God night. bless good you, night. Lala. Take care. Night, night, night Lala. Fantastic. There we are. I think Gary's getting the hang of calling now. I think we welcomed him. He's had a light refreshment, but he's doing awfully well. So there you are, dinky do. Right, we're just about out of time, guys. We're going to have to say goodbye to our beautiful TikTokers. Bye bye. Take care of yourselves, dinky do, and ta ta las. There's our beautiful TikTokers on their way. Fantastic. And of course, to our beautiful YouTubers, we say a big, big thank you to you. What a great night tonight has been. Absolutely joyful, I can say to you. Join us next Saturday at the same time when we'll uh, take our toys out and do it all again. That's what I say. Having said that, keep your eyes peeled during the week. 
uh, for Scotty McClue's random pop-ups on TikTok, on YouTube, on Facebook Live, on LinkedIn Live, and on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue. The rest of you, make sure you've subscribed, right? Because I don't want to find out that nobody has subscribed to the channel because it's absolutely Scott free so to do. Wonderful stuff. There's a Scotty McClure saying thanks for watching. Have a great night and dinky doo.